Do you think applying for an IPO is a tedious and confusing process? Should you apply for an IPO? What is lot size and what is a bid? In today's ED Markets Decoder, I'm going to simplify the whole process of the IPO application for you by answering seven basic questions. I'm Neha Vashisht Mahajan. Let's take a look. Number one, how can you apply for an IPO? To apply for an IPO, you need to have a DMAT account with a depository participant. There are two ways in which you can apply for an IPO. You can either do it through the broker's website or ask the broker to bid for the required shares on your behalf. Once this bid is placed, you can authorize this transaction through UPI using Bheem, GPay, PhonePay, etc. Some banks also give the option of applying for IPOs using ASBA, which is application supported by blocked amount, by logging onto the website and filling in the details. Printed forms are also available with some brokers and one could use them as well. In all the cases, when you apply, money is blocked in your linked bank account and does not move out. Money will be debited only if a successful allotment is made in your account. Number 2. When should you apply for an IPO? All IPOs are open for 3 days. All applications need to be submitted and UPI authorization needs to be done before 5 pm on the last day of the issue. Number 3. How many shares should an investor apply for? Distributors suggest that retail investors should apply for one lot only. As per rules, the regulatory allotment process equally treats all retail applications for amounts less than 2 lakh. Hence, to avoid oversubscription, go for a single lot. Number 4. How many applications can an investor make? Only one application is allowed against a PAN. Multiple applications with the same PAN are liable to get rejected. Number 5. What is the bid cutoff price in an IPO? Cutoff price means the investor is willing to pay whatever price the company decides at the end of the book building process. Once the application is made at cutoff, the investor has to bid at the highest price band. In case the IPO price is lower, the excess amount will be refunded. Distributors suggest that investors bid for an IPO at the cutoff price. Number 6. What is lot size when it comes to an IPO? Lot size is the minimum number of shares an investor can apply for. Applications must be made in multiples of this lot size. For example, if the offer price is 500 rupees and the lot size is 30, investors can bid for 30, 60, 90, 120 shares and so on. However, the minimum investment would be 500 into 30, that is 15,000 rupees. Lastly, number 7. How to check if you have been allotted shares in the IPO? Once an IPO closes for subscription, investors must check whether shares have been allotted. This can be checked on the registrar's website. Investors are also notified via email and SMS from the registrar. If they are allotted shares, they will be credited to the DMAT account and can be sold once listed. Well, that is all for today. Stay tuned to ED Markets for more.